Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking you through the tactics that helped me go 19 and 1, secure another rank 1 in champions this weekend. Struggle corner champions feel like it should still be foot champs. But in this video, I'm going to go in depth about the tactics, I break them down. I'll show you my full tactics, but the emphasis is going to be on the 4 triple 2. That's the main tactic I run. This was not the full team I ran. I used Allison in net and Alfonso Davies at left back. After completing the weekend league, I've then gone and done Smichael and Backer. So I still need to put a chemistry style. Um, still need to put a chemistry style on Backer. I still need to um, actually try these cards out. But um, she looks very good. I'm excited to try her out. Um, I think I don't know. Probably a shadow. It'd be nice to give her the physicality. But I feel like that sprint speed's quite low. You do waste a little bit when it comes to the acceleration. But <clears throat> the card looks really good, so I'm excited to try her out. Does she have dead ball? In fact, she has dead ball and whipped pass. She should have a ridiculously good um, corner, in my opinion. How does she have dead ball but 72 free kicks? That doesn't really make sense. Anyway, this is the team by Davies and Alison. We're in it. Looking forward to hopefully Kylian Mbappe dropping this week. Um, that could be a game changer on this account. But yeah, um, let's get into the tactics, the reason you're all here. If there's any tactics you want me to test out or formation to do, let me know. And of course, any questions, please let me know. I'm regularly putting videos out on new formations, tactics. I think this is the fourth tactic and formation that I've tried out this year that I've hit rank one with, so I've tried a lot out. As always, if you follow these videos or follow this channel, subscribe to it, and you're a regular viewer, you will know when I do tactics, I do multiple versions nearly all the time, unless I just don't think it's a tactic that you should be pressing with. Um, but for the 4 triple two, my um, defensive one is what I... It's not defensive, but it's just what the gameplay is. It's what I start with. But talking about the tactic, the things that I really like, flat back four is nice. Two CDMs and a flat back four with two cams that I can get back as well. Very good defensively. Um... Yeah. two CDMs in a flat back four, it's always going to be a lot harder to break you down. Some people have said to me, why are you using Patelis and Bon Matt? Is it not too attacking? Honestly, they're pretty quick at this point. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. And they do get back in defence, so I'm pretty happy with them. I really value ball playing midfields on this game. I know not everyone rates that quite as highly as me, but in my opinion, it just works on this game. I really like it. find it nice to have creative players in there. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying using two players like that. Um, definitely, you do miss out occasionally on the physicality and the defending. But at this point in the game, when there's not really any big ball uh, big um, anchor men who are actually good on the ball and passing are like really good I prefer these guys 5 star weak foot ping pass incisive pass technical it's really nice and honestly at a higher level maybe you'd want a bigger man in there but the level where I'm just trying to get wins in weekend league climb a bit of elite division is pretty nice um, the full backs you'll see in the instructions but I have them on stay back but they do overlap so having full backs who are good on the ball are you willing to trust to get forward definitely helpful and um, the cams this is probably where this formation most excels this is probably the best formation that out of any that i think you could use in general outside like maybe for one of the three backs might be better but they're not very viable but out of the meta formations i think this is probably the best in the game when it comes to long shots i love hitting travellers i love hitting finesses i've got salah and son in there for the finesses um musiala he was playing in cam for me. I was playing in cam in another formation. He's not the best at lamb, but he's still very good. Um, but I didn't get the most out of him playing there. However, as a general point, the ram and lamb with two strikers, you score so many finesses and travellers in this formation if you're looking for it. Because players just make the runs and get into the perfect positions to hit them, in my opinion. So if you're looking to hit more travellers and um, finesses and you just like long shots... This is probably my favourite formation all year I've done for it. It's got to be up there, top three formations for me. This 4 4 2 and 4 3 2 1 are probably my favourites. I do like the 4 4 1 1 as well, to be fair. There's a lot I really like. Um, 
But yeah, when it comes to long shots, this one's crazy. I scored a lot of crazy shots this weekend. Um, for the Lamb and Ram, you need them to be quick, ideally. Good at dribbling. Long shots are nice. Playmakers. Um, they don't need a five-star week for anywhere near as much as the striker. For the most part, Salah is just pace, cut inside, and a finesse merchant. Honestly, I'd like to have someone at Lamb instead of Musiala who could bend in finesses. We'll see um, based on uh, what you call the price of the Mbappe SBC because I'm going to be doing the Mbappe SBC as long as he's not insane, like over four and a half mil or something. But as long as the Mbappe SBC is reasonable, I'll be doing him. I might change the team up slightly based on that, but we're going to see. Um, but for now, this works for the strikers. Pace, five star week for. Um, good play styles, I really value all that. When it comes to the tactics, very similar. I don't really change my tactics up that much in terms of the width depth. Often they're very similar to each other. The formation, the instructions are where I feel um, you want to mix it up a bit more. I find 55 depth on this game a really nice hybrid between not pressing and pressing quite good. Um, the 71 depth, I think it's good, and I definitely have a tactic for it. I'll explain that. I don't like it from the start. I feel like it leaves you a bit vulnerable. And against good players, they can expose it. At a lower level, I think 71 depth is probably a little bit more OP. Balanced direct passing. Still really like that. Still think that's the way to go for most formations. Six players in box. You could maybe lower this to five, but this works quite well for me. In terms of instructions, um, I've got one of the strikers on balanced, just default. So this striker does come back a little bit, doesn't constantly make runs in behind. I don't want both strikers doing that. It helps with the build-up a little bit. Um, and then because Butragueiro is the quicker striker, I have him on game behind stay forward, so he's the one who's going to make more runs. Um, also, the one if you've got one who's got like finesse, you don't want him making the runs in behind as so much. You want him to be able to drop a little bit deeper to hit those finesses. For the cams, I've got them on default. You can put them on comeback on defence. It does help you out, but it does affect the counter. For the um, CDMs, I used to, in this formation, you stay back. I've got them on balanced. A little bit more risky, but they do get back and defend. Cover centre, and I've changed. This is where this formation, I've changed it up a little bit in the instructions compared to usual. I normally on CDMs just put stay back, cover centre, cut passing lines. However, I'm finding... Cut passing lanes. I think when you have it on balance and they can mark, I think it works really well on this game because when you press a bit more and the press does kick in sometimes, 55 depth, being able to get man mark and get tight is really good. But I want a mix. Um, and then for the other CDM, I've got deep line playmaker. Has this really helped or not? It's hard to fully measure it, but I've definitely noticed Bon Matty has got into positions to help. Um, provide a passing option as that instruction says and honestly i think it has been helping me get out the press so i like it is it op i'm not saying that would i know it's much different if i took it off maybe not i don't know but it seems cool and i've been liking it that's what i've been using i'm confused have i, I had them on stay back overlap have i i used this formation all weekend I thought they were on stay back overlap. I did think my fullback seemed quite attacking this weekend. Sometimes I change my formation and tactic, and then I must not save some changes. There you go. Apparently, I had them on balanced mixed attack. I've used stay back overlap quite a lot. Honestly, it does play quite similar to balanced attack. Simply put, balanced attack means they're making runs a bit more general. While overlap makes them make more attacking runs, but on stay back, it's probably pretty similar. I did think they seemed a little bit more attacking than usual. Hey, it worked. Um, I didn't seem to get caught out in defense, so there you go. Try that or balance, or stay back over tap. Uh, stay back overlap. Confused by that though. I definitely didn't realize that one. But like I say, you can see I've clearly changed things up a bit. I've got um, the cover center deep line playmaker getting behind. Okay, this one very similar. We just up the depth, up the press. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. For the instructions, same on the strikers. For this one, I didn't put a deep line playmaker because I'm trying to win the ball higher up the pitch. I don't want them to sit back a bit more. I want them to get forward more. I've got them on comeback on defense in this one because in this one, I, when I'm, I'm trying to win the ball back a bit more aggressively. 
it will it, you could argue you could put them on step forward so you win the ball higher up the pitch and then they're already up there to counter but this one's when i'm losing so i need them to actually come back and defend i used to not do that but i found when they're on come back on defense they're going to help a bit more on defense and i want to press a bit more aggressive and i need them to come back and help win the ball this one i went balanced overlap so yeah i clearly i clearly must have i don't i did this tactics on like thursday so i don't know why i didn't have it stay back overlap in the default one but must have been something i had done at the time Ultra defensive and ultra attacking. I'm not going to go in depth on these. I'm just going to quickly cycle through them so you can see. So you can see the instructions. And the ultra attacking. But yeah, this formation, honestly, been a lot of fun. Gave me a lot of really good options going forward. I'm excited to try this backer as um, a, a balanced fullback. I think she could offer me a lot. Not that I exactly have a really good heading options, but yeah, one of my favourite formations we used. Helped me get some really good results this weekend. I might try it with stay back balanced now that I've realised, stay back overlap even now that I've realised, see if that makes it even defensively better. I appreciate you guys watching this video. As always, keep it spicy. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.